This is the best UGR class setup in Black Ops Cold War. So, it's elusive. If you guys are looking for a class setup like this. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, I still got a piece, but I ran out of bullets. That's why I don't like 30 round mags, bruh. Got again. Bro, I almost got a wild piece. I went insane with this class setup and dropped a nuclear in this video. So if this video interests you, drop a like and sub if you're new. And let's get into the gameplay. Alrighty, brothers, I decided to use a weapon I have not touch since it dropped bruh and that would be the UGR me honestly I wasn't really a fan of the UGR because damn the reason I wasn't a fan is because you weren't able to shoot through walls bruh and that's very much needed I don't know the target assist also in this game has been flopping bruh like I haven't been getting target assist pull at all it's as if I have no target assist I tried playing yesterday and nothing bruh it's like my target assist is being pulled away. Even with standstill targets. It's like I gotta use my analogs as if they're a mouse. But back to what I was saying before, I couldn't even lock onto an opponent I was trying to shoot. So yeah, bruh. That's why I didn't really use it. I never even maxed this out, bruh. This is probably my second least used submachine gun in Cold War. And I don't even know how he, he was sitting there the whole time and nobody saw him. Okay. Come on now, bro. I haven't played uh, Cold War in a while. I haven't touched Cold War in I think like a week and a half or so. Because I literally try to record as many videos as I can in one day because of work. So on my days off, I usually spend it just recording. I got three days off majority of the time, but sometimes I got two days off. So within that time, I spend usually one day recording at least three videos. And then I spend the next day trying to edit as much as I can within those three videos so I can have videos ready for you guys so I can stay consistent. You're telling me bro still has spawn protect? So yeah, that's why I usually post up multiple videos or record multiple videos in one day. So if you guys notice why I have like the same green shirt or something in a video, three videos in a row, that's why. I don't like how this thing only has 30 bullets. Because 30 bullets is not enough, bruh. This kid is hiding behind the car again and no one's seen him. Alright, we're running this again. Let's see if I can actually get a nuke using the UGR rather than running out of bullets every time I kill two people or my bullets bouncing off of windows every time I try to shoot someone. I just realized that I pressed my button by accident and changed um, the section I was on in my elite controller. If you guys have like an elite controller, which I don't know if they do this on scuff as well, but there's like different, um, I don't know, what do, you, what do you call it? Different segments or sections or whatever where you can have three different type of setups. I don't like how you have to reload every two kills, bruh. That's why I don't use weapons with 30 bullets. What the hell? I didn't even see a name on him, bruh. Why did I get a target assist pull if he was a friendly? And it reloads slow on top of that, bruh. I 
I gotta go. I just, I just. Only if consistent spawns actually exist in TDM and kill confirm. Did I just hit marker him with a direct shot in the air, or am I legally blind? Okay, this person was. <laughs> Bro, getting hot. Oh, I thought that was an enemy's bro. I was go. I was go. Please tell me my armor broke and I don't have a sliver left. I'm trying to restart the timer so I can get it again. I probably shouldn't be running the marshals, honestly. I'm gone. Oh, someone got a harp on my team. All right, cool. At least somebody helping. And my team ain't gonna steal my kill. I gotta fall back. There we go. Another hit marker. Bruh, they must have nerfed the grenade launcher. They had to have, bruh. There's no way I'm getting this many hit markers. I'm getting hit markers and the dudes are only like two feet away from me. Thank you for the damn new. Look at that! Another hit marker! He was next to it! Call out the new kid, like, now. I'm gonna have my first death right now. This kid was putting in some work on my team. Bro, the amount of kills that's been getting stolen due to the the UGR having such a slow time to kill is insane, bro. Like, literally, I'm shooting first and my teammates still my kill one bullet. I thought they would have said something after all that, bro. I went 53 and 2 and dropped a nuke. Alrighty, brothers, what you guys all been waiting for, my UGR class setup. This is what I'm running on the UGR. I'm running the sound suppressor. I'm running the VDV reinforced. I'm running the explosive mag, which is the only mag. I'm running the serpent wrap and I'm running no stock. I haven't maxed out this weapon, but once I do max this out, I'm gonna go the KGB skeletal stock for this weapon, and for the handle, I'm going the GRU elastic wrap. This class up, honestly, is the best you can run on this weapon, because honestly, this weapon is not very good, in my opinion. It's not like a standout to the point where it should be used. Like, there's so many weapons, definitely submachine guns, that completely shadow this gun to the point where there's just no point in using it. Like, it has so many negative cons, like not being able to shoot through walls and windows those and only having 30 bullets in the clip and how just people just eat the bullets it feels like it's kind of like shoots tater tots or something but it's like it's not very strong even when it has explosive bullets it's not very strong so that's why it's just it's all around it's not the best weapon to use but this is for if you guys have to use it if you're trying to unlock camos or if you guys want to use it this is the best class up to use on this weapon but if you guys are going to run eight attachments for the underbarrel you can run the spet snaz grip or the speed grip for the body you can run the target team spotlight or a laser and for the optic run the micro reflex the best attachment for the optic but yeah let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments about the ugr do you guys think it's good or do you guys think it's bad or is somewhat decent also let me know your guys thoughts on this class setup and how good you guys went and uh yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new don't forget to slap on the post notification so you miss the latest and greatest videos and i'll see you later guys peace